Well, hello. Hello, hello. How is everybody out there around the world this morning? I hope you're having a nice day. We'll be starting this lesson in about 33 seconds. I'm just gonna do my normal checks here. Make sure the audio is working. Make sure the video is working. And we'll start again in about 22 seconds. It looks like all systems are go. So, we should be able to start in about 11 seconds. I'm excited. I think you will enjoy this lesson about a uh, hair. So, five, four, three, two, one. Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about hair. This might sound like a very simple topic but I was surprised when I was putting the slides together on the topic. How many words I could think of. How many words and phrases there are when it comes to learning how to talk about hair. Yes, hair, the stuff that is on most of our heads unless some of you are older and maybe you are bald. Sometimes men lose their hair when they get older uh, and they don't have any but this is an English lesson about hair. Um I was surprised because Jen gave me the idea. She said, why don't you do a lesson on hair? And I thought there would only be about 15 words but I have over 40 words and phrases to teach you this morning about hair. So, I think you will really enjoy this English lesson. Before we get started though, I do wanna mention a few things. First of all, yes, I'm all better. Um in English, when you're sick and then after you're sick, you say, I'm all better. So, I'm all better. I have a slight tickle in my throat but I think it'll be fine. I'll try not to talk too loudly. I'll try to talk slowly and I'll try to make it easy for you to understand while I protect my voice at the same time. I do wanna say hi to Eugene from Etobicoke, Freddie Wolf, Cecilia, Cesar, Adi, Yaroslav, Toshi. I see Brent from Speak English with this guy is here. I know that losing the hair feeling <laughs> says Brent. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, Brent. I don't know you well enough to laugh about that. So, maybe that's something that uh I think if you mention it in the chat, I can smile about it a little bit. Hi to Tony. Hi to Lolly Lolly. Let me scroll back here. Hi to Naomi T, Giovanni, uh Toshi, Key Park, uh Vitor I know is here. Musa, Wanda Prado, Noriko. So, many familiar people. Harry 300 is here and I'm going to stop saying hi to people because I'm gonna forget someone uh or I'm going to mention people twice which I probably already did. Hey, before we get the lesson started, remember if you want to use the chat to have fun English conversations, it sometimes is a good experience to just chat in English. Um please keep the chat in English. I think everyone appreciates that. It makes it easier for everyone who is here to practice a little bit and if you do have a question about hair about the topic, Please use the link in the description below. Let me just double check that I actually put that link there. Yes, I did. And the link will also be shared by Todd uh, throughout the lesson. Uh Dave, I believe, is busy this morning. So, we have one moderator today. Uh anyways, hi to the 333 uh 34 people who are watching. Let's uh let's get this lesson started. Uh an English lesson about hair. So, hair. Hair is what you have up here on your head. But interestingly enough, we do have hair on other parts of our body as well. I'm not going to go into all the details except to say that if you're talking about hair on another part of your body, you just mention the body part and then say hair. So, people have ear hair. <laughs> That's kind of a weird one. People sometimes uh have nose hair, especially older men. Sometimes you have nose hair. We have armpit hair as well. We have arm hair and leg hair. And this is a bit of an awkward one. There's an area of the body, uh, a private area where you have something called pubic hair. I'm not gonna talk too much about that but we do have hair all over our body. Most of this lesson is going to be about the hair that you have on your head. So, you can see this person here has nice hair. I think I have nice hair as well although I do tend to keep my hair pretty short. Some people have long hair. So, when you describe hair, there's a lot of ways to describe it and I didn't want to spend too much time talking about it. You can say that someone has long hair. A lot of women have long hair. Some men have long hair. Long hair is any hair I would say that grows past your shoulders. 
So, this person I would say definitely has long hair. And the opposite of course would be short hair. I would describe short hair as any hair that is above the shoulder or to the shoulder. Um there's a lot of other ways to describe hair. You can have curly hair where you have like little ringlets. Uh you can have frizzy hair. You can have a lot of different styles of hair. But for the most part, people talk about hair in the sense of long hair or short hair. I have short hair. I have really short hair. Now, there is other hair on the body as well that's not part of the head or the arm or the leg. Um and we call this a beard. I think you're familiar with this. I am going over some of the simpler vocabulary. So, when uh you have hair on the lower cheeks and on the chin, we call this a beard. And then when you have no hair here, when you shave here and you just have hair here, we call this a goatee. So, I used to have a goatee a long time ago. I think it's called a goatee because if I go and look at my goats, some of the goats have a little bit of hair growing right down here at the end of their chin. So, I wonder if the word goatee comes from the fact that it looks a little bit like you have the same hair as a goat. Uh you know what a goat is, right? Like ma with horns and not a sheep, a goat. And then you have what's called a mustache. So, let's zoom in on this guy. This is my mustache. So, this guy here has a beard and he has a mustache. A mustache would be hair that you grow right above the lip, right below the nose. Um I like having a mustache. It just I don't know. I've had a mustache and a bit of a beard. I don't grow my beard very long for quite a number of years. In fact, I think a year ago, I shaved my beard and mustache and a lot of viewers didn't like it. They said they didn't recognize me and they said I looked much better with facial hair. So, that's the term I've just used, facial hair. When you have a beard or a goatee or a mustache, we call that facial hair. Hair that grows on your face. And I get my hair cut. I cut it myself and then Jen trims it for me. I use a trimmer or clippers but a lot of men go to what's called a barber. A barber is a person who is trained to cut men's hair in particular and a barber often will have a barber shop. So, let's look at these two slides a bit more closely. So, we have this gentleman who is a barber. So, someone is sitting in the chair and he is getting a haircut from his barber and that barber works in what's called a barber shop. A place with chairs that go up and down and mirrors on the wall so you can see the haircut as you get it. A woman would more likely go to a hairdresser or a hairstylist. So, a hairdresser or hairstylist is someone who specializes in cutting women's hair. Note by the way that a hairstylist doesn't themselves need to be a man or woman. They can be either but a hairdresser or hairstylist is someone who cuts women's hair. So, if I needed a haircut, I would go and see a barber at a barber shop. If Jen needed a haircut, she would go and see a hairdresser or hairstylist at a hair salon. So, a hair salon looks a lot like a barber shop but it's designed more for women to get their hair done. Sometimes at a hair salon, you can also get your nails done and other things. Maybe you can get a pedicure on your feet but uh, a hair salon is definitely where Jen would go if she needed to get a haircut. By the way, Jen gets her haircut from a friend who has a little hair salon in her basement. It's a little business that she runs. So, Jen goes to her friend's house to get her haircut or to get a hair uh, to get her hair styled. So, generally, the tools used by someone who cuts hair would be a scissors and a comb. So, often, if I was to go get my hair cut, um I get it cut with clippers but if I had a bit longer hair, I would have the person cut it with a scissors and a comb. Um pretty standard tools for a barber or hairstylist to use. Um and then also, they might use a brush. So, again, some of the basic English vocabulary here. When you have nice hair uh and you want it to look really nice, you might brush your hair with a hairbrush and a hairbrush looks like that. So, here's the clippers that I was talking about. When I get my hair cut, um I have my own pair of clippers. You can call them hair trimmers or hair clippers. I call them clippers. I think that's the common name. 
I put a little spacer on the end. I put a little attachment on the end so that it cuts my hair this long and then I buzz my hair off. I think we use the verb buzz in English because that's the sound the clippers make. It's like bzzz. It makes a buzzing sound. So, I buzz my hair off but there's parts I miss. So, then uh, I sit down and Jen finishes it for me. She trims around my ears and she trims my neck but I use clippers to cut my hair. There's other facial hair as well. Actually, this technically wouldn't be facial hair. I think this would just be other examples of hair on the body. We have eyebrows which are above our eyes. So, you see that this lady has dark eyebrows um and the arrow is pointing to them and we also have eyelashes which are the little bits of hair that grow right on the eyelid. So, this is your eyelid when you close your eye and there's little hair, little eyelashes on the eyelid and then also on the bottom um there's little hair. So, those are your eyelashes. So, and if you wear makeup, you might put makeup on on your eyelashes as well. I don't know a lot about makeup. So, um when you get your hair done a certain way, in English, we often say I'm getting I'm gonna get my hair done tonight. Uh, I'm going to go to the barber and get my hair done or I'm gonna go to the hairstylist and get my hair done. We call it a hairstyle. So, the style of one's hair, how you have your hair. This guy's hair, his hairstyle is he has his hair combed back. He's probably using a little bit of hair gel to hold it there. So, that is his hairstyle. We don't use the word hairdo a lot anymore. Like, I don't say, hey, nice hairdo. Um, but it's a word you might hear if you watch an older TV show or an older movie. Sometimes people are like, oh, I got my hair cut. How do you like my new hairdo? Um, but now we would probably just say hairstyle or we might even say, I got my hair cut. How do you like it? How do you like my hair? It's a new style I'm trying out. Hey, let's look at some questions though. I'm anxious to look at some questions. Uh, let me get the questions uh on the screen here. Let's see here. If we have some questions ready to go. (laughs) First question from Vitor. Bob, did you have lice in your hair when you were a child? Yes, there was a time where I came home from school. I think it started with my sister had lice and then my mom checked the rest of us Uh, and then we had to use this really awful smelling shampoo. Lice are sometimes a problem uh, especially in younger children. It's not common but every once in a while, the school will send a letter home. Every couple of years, there will be a letter saying someone was found with lice at school. Check your kids and there's a special comb to do that and everything. Uh let's see here. Ruslan says, hi, dear teacher Bob. How is your health, sir? What's your favorite female hairstyle? Do you like braids? I'm just crazy about them. My favorite female hairstyle would be whatever Jen's hairstyle is. That's my that's my answer to that question. Um I do like uh when uh women's hair is a bit longer but I do really like Jen's hair. She has very nice hair. It's good when you like the hairstyle that your partner has. I think that's the best way to answer that question. Um and braids are cool. I'll talk about braids in a little bit. Uh let's see here. From uh Azam. Hi, teacher Bob. It's nice to have you back. I don't have a question today. I pray for you and your family's health, wealth and happiness. Well, thank you. I'll take the uh prayer for health and happiness. The wealth, I don't know. I I have enough. I don't need any more. I have enough to pay my bills. We we have enough to get by. That means that I'm not rich but I'm not poor and I like it that way. So, thank you for those kind wishes. Uh let's see here. From Renata, good morning, Bob. I'm glad you're feeling much better. You grew up in the 70s, right? Did young people dye their hair various colors back then? Have a great day, sir. So, no, like I was like I was a kid in my 70s. So, I don't actually remember what teenagers and older people were doing. So, like in 1975, I was only like four, three or four years old. Um so, I don't remember. People my age, kids did not dye their hair but I know that maybe my uncles did. They were a little bit wilder in the 70s. Um it was an interesting time I hear. Um Ario says, hello, glad you're back to YouTube. Could you please tell me what does what product do you use to take good care of your hair? So, here's the funny thing. I order 
shampoo from Amazon and I order the cheapest shampoo which I think is called Aussie Naturals or something. I like the um I think it smells like papaya or something like that. So, I don't use anything special, Ario. Uh I use the cheapest shampoo that I can find. Uh Yaroslaw in the chat member for three months says the topic by the way is surprisingly interesting. Yeah, I didn't think it would be an interesting topic but I'm a very boring person when it comes to hair. So, I'm uh, I'm surprised. It will get even more exciting when we get back to the lesson. Ahmed says, hi, Mr. Bob. Have you ever dyed your hair? I have not. No. I have gotten a perm though in the past. I'll talk about that later when I was much younger. People will want to see a picture. I don't have one but uh yes, I'll talk about what perms are in a bit. Uh Sally says, hi, teacher Bob. I hope you're feeling good. What is a person with a long beard called in English? We just call them a person with a beard. There is no real name for it. Um there's no special word in English to describe someone who has a really long beard. Although sometimes people with long beard, especially older gentlemen, look very wise um when they do when they grow a beard that long. Uh Andre Padron, hello Mr. Bob. I'm glad to see you live. Do you we comb our hair or we brush our hair? Depends on what you use. If you use a comb, then you're combing your hair. If you use a brush which is bigger, then you're brushing it. Um and what kind of products are popular in Canada for hair? So, the most popular products would be shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo washes your hair and then you put conditioner in afterwards to make your hair feel a bit softer. Uh and then things like hair gel or mousse or hairspray but I'll talk about all of them a bit later but definitely people use a lot of hair care products in Canada. Uh Yaroslav says, morning the wisest teacher Bob. Glad you are feeling better. My question is, what haircuts were popular in your childhood? Short or long? Have a best weekend ever. Short hair was popular. Um I know that I got my hair cut I think every four weeks. My mom took us to the neighbors and she would cut our hair and we all had short hair and most of my friends at school had short hair. Yes. Um let's see here. This is from Giovanni. Hi. Hey, Mr. Bob. Hope your throat is going well. So far, so good. So, my question today is, have you ever let your hair go back up to your back? Once I let mine grow three long years. I've never gone that long but I did have hair that was a bit longer when I was younger. Not that long but uh, my older brother did actually. He had very long hair for a while when he was in his early twenties. Uh Leo says, short or large goatee is the same. Yes, if you shave here, so if this is shaved and you have long hair or short hair, it's still called a goatee. Definitely. Um Winter Wright says, hi, Bob. Long time no see. Some people who have curly hair when they are born, are there any adjectives or nouns to describe it? We say this a lot with babies. We'll say, um he was born with a full head of hair. So, sometimes babies have hair. Sometimes babies have a little bit of hair. Sometimes babies have no hair Um, but sometimes uh babies are born with lots of hair and people will then say, whoa, he was born with a full head of hair. So, it's just a way of describing um a baby who was born with lots and lots of hair. Um let's see here. Let me skip the next one. It's about my town. By the way, on my second channel, I was in my town yesterday. Uh Toshi says, in Japan, there are places where men and women can have a haircut. Uh what do you call it? We would just call it yeah, what would we call it? I'm trying to think because we have the same like if I go to supercuts, it's for men and women. We sometimes use the word unisex. Let me put that in the chat for a sec. Um let me find a spot here. I don't know if this word is used anymore. For both men and women. Um we might still call it a salon like like I took my kids to supercuts to get their hair cut and I got my hair cut there and it was for men and women. I just can't think of the word right now. Um let's see here. So, from Olicia. Hello, teacher Bob. You mentioned the hair salon but I always use beauty parlor. What's the difference? Thank you very much. It depends what the salon specializes in. In Canada, we'll have hair salons, we'll have beauty salons, we'll have nail salons and a hair salon 
will mostly do hair but they might do a few other things. They might do nails as well and they um and so, it just depends. I think beauty salon would be the general term for a place that does hair and nails and other things to make people look beautiful. Um Noriko says, does English have a technical term for upside down eyelashes? That hurts, doesn't it? I don't think so, Noriko. I don't think we have a term for that. I'm not aware of it. I do know that um eyelashes can sometimes hurt people when they grow the wrong way. I think that might be what you are mentioning. Uh let's see here. Taryar says, hello lovely Bob. My favorite YouTuber of all time. I've started my YouTube channel and could you encourage me somehow and some advice? Would appreciate much. Here's the advice I give to people starting YouTube channels. Think of 20 video ideas and write them down and then make one video every two weeks for 40 weeks. And if you can get through that, you're well on your way. So, but the first thing I would do is make sure you have 20 good ideas before you get started. Sometimes people start and uh they run out of ideas. Kimmy and Kiwi from Korea. Good morning, Bob. What is the solution used to dye hair called? We call it hair dye. We sometimes say uh, hair coloring as well but hair dye. I'm going to get my hair dyed. They're going to put dye in my hair. Hair dye. What about a hair perm? Thanks. So, a perm is a short form for the word permanent and it's when they put something in your hair to make your hair curly. So, if you have straight hair and you get a perm, your hair will be curly for a few weeks afterwards if not months. So, let's see here. Freddie the French guy says, Hi, Bob. Welcome back. Are there any words for the different type of beards or mustaches like the ZZ Top one? Take care. Not really. Um we would just say that they have outrageous uh beards. Those guys from ZZ Top. Um actually one of the members of ZZ Top passed away last year I think. So, um yeah. That's a it's a fun band to listen to. Sometimes I listen to their older music. Um we're gonna get back to the lesson everybody. Let's uh let's keep moving along here. The next <laughs> the next slide makes me laugh. So, the style of hair I have is called a buzz cut. Um because you use clippers and because you say you're buzzing your hair, this is called a buzz cut. It's a very common hairstyle in the army or if you are a police officer. It's not a very common hairstyle for a teacher but I have a buzz cut and I've told this story before because when I was younger, I bought a motorcycle and when you wear a helmet, when you have lots of hair, the helmet makes your hair flat. So, I finally just got my hair cut really really short and I liked it so much. I've kept it that way ever since. So, a buzz cut is when you have really short hair. So, we're gonna talk a little bit about hair coloring. Um sometimes people decide they don't like the color of their hair and they decide that they want to dye their hair. So, We use the verb to dye to talk about changing your hair color but we also just generally use the the phrase hair coloring. You know, um oh, she's really into hair coloring or she, do you know anyone who does hair coloring? You could also say, do you know anyone who dyes hair? And that's someone who would be able to put dye in your hair to make it purple or green or or if you're old, you might even have your hair dyed to look more natural instead of gray. I know one person uh and I won't mention any names who does that. Someone who is the same age as me but he doesn't have gray hair. He has nice brown hair as if he's 20 years old but he's not 20. He's 52. He's a couple years older than me. Anyways, uh hair dye. There's something also called highlights. So, this woman probably has darker brown hair and she has gotten some blonder highlights put in. So, when you have highlights put in your hair, this isn't something Bob knows a lot about. I've never gotten highlights but it's when you change the color of some of your hair to be a lighter color so that your hair has a nice look to it. So, you might go and get highlights. Um generally, we just call getting your haircut a haircut. It's very common to go and get a haircut. It's common to say to someone, hey, did you get a new haircut? Or did you get a haircut? It looks great or your new haircut looks awesome. So, we use it as a noun. So, you're going to get a haircut but it's really an action, isn't it? Um so, when you go to the barber or if you go to the hairstylist, you could say, 
um hey, I'd like to get a haircut today. Could you do it in the same style as Justin Bieber? I really like his uh his hairstyle. So, we talked about a perm which is a short form for permanent. We never say permanent though and perms have been popular and then less popular and popular and less popular and it seems to me they might be getting popular again. A perm is when you have straight hair and you go to a hair salon in order to have your hair made more curly or wavy permanently. Now, it's not 100% permanent. It only lasts for about four weeks or eight weeks. Uh sometimes maybe three months depending on how fast your hair grows and I did say that when I was in university, I got a perm once. It was the style way back then in the late eighties. Um men sometimes got perms to make their hair a little curlier. I had longer hair and I had curly hair for a bit. Um if you go back and look at bands in the eighties, if you go and look at rock music bands in the eighties, a lot of the guys in the bands had what we would say as describe as big hair or curly hair and the way to get that was to get a perm. So, it was a little bit silly but hey, that's what teenagers do, don't they? That's what young people do. They do silly things sometimes. Sometimes people will put their hair up in a bun. This is when you wrap the hair at the back of your head and then sometimes you'll put a pencil or you'll have something to hold the hair in place but you can also wrap it without using anything. We would call that a bun and I'm not sure if it's popular anymore but for a while men were having their hair up in a bun and we call that a man bun. So, if you wear your hair like this, we would say you're wearing your hair in a bun or you're putting your hair in a bun. If you're a man, we would call it a man bun. So, you're a man with longer hair and you decide that you want to have the hair up behind you uh, in kind of a small knot, we would call that a bun. Um and yeah, I think it is from the word bun. Like when you eat a bun, a bun in English uh is a small piece of round bread. Like you eat a hamburger on a bun um and I think that's where the word comes from, the word bun for sure. Um sometimes people will braid their hair. So, braiding is something that um when I was a kid, we would uh we would braid ropes. We would get ropes because I lived on a farm. We had a lot of uh, ropes from the hay. We would braid it. So, it's when you take three strands and you weave them together. Um people with long hair will sometimes braid their hair. So, it's br- both a verb and a noun. So, you could say my sister is going to braid my hair or I like having a braid in my hair. Okay? So, you can use it both ways but it's when you take longer hair and you weave it together in a certain pattern and it usually looks something like that. Uh sometimes people with long hair will wear a ponytail. So, a ponytail, I think it's obvious where this word comes from. It's when you make your hair almost look like the tail of a horse or a pony. By the way, a pony is it's not really a horse but I'm just gonna say it's a smaller horse. So, sometimes uh men and women, they'll put their hair in a ponytail So, they'll grab their hair at the back. They might put an elastic in their hair. Um I think in English, we have things called scrunchies. Don't quote me on that because I don't have long hair. (laughs) I don't have a ponytail but a ponytail would be when you gather all your hair at the back of your head and you kind of put um usually an elastic or a rubber band or something maybe a little fancier to hold it there. Uh very common way for people with long hair to wear their hair on a day when they don't want their hair you know to bother them. So, a part. I'm not sure if you can see the arrow here. I put a little arrow on this picture. Some people will part their hair. Some people part their hair down the middle. Some people will part their hair on one side or the other. When I was a lot younger and I had longer hair, a bit longer hair, I had a side part. I would part my hair right here. That was where my hair naturally parted. You can see it even does it a little bit now. Um some people part their hair right in the middle. So, they comb in both directions away from the center. This guy has his hair uh parted on the side. So, when you have your hair, when you have a part in your hair, it means that you divide the hair kind of in a straight line um because it looks kind of cool. I don't part my hair now. There's not enough hair for me to part my hair. Uh sometimes people want 
curl your hair just temporarily. So, they don't want to get a perm but maybe they're going out for the evening and they're dressing up in fancy clothes and they want their hair to look extra cool. So, they might put rollers in their hair. Rollers are usually hot and the heat causes the hair to kind of form around the roller and stay a little bit curly for a day. Um so, maybe you're going to a wedding. Maybe you're going to a prom. By the way, I think Brent from Speak English with this guy did an English lesson about prom. Uh did you do that Brent? I think last week. You should check that out. Um but rollers. You can put rollers in your hair to temporarily give your hair um a little bit more curl. And if you want, you can use a curling iron as well. This is a similar thing but you just do one curl at a time. So, a curling iron is an appliance that you use in the bathroom that you can wrap your hair in and the heat of the curling iron will force your hair to be come a bit curly for about a day. So, it's kind of another interesting way to do your hair if you're going to a special event. That's usually what we say. Uh, I'm gonna get my hair done. Um I'm going to a wedding. I'm gonna get my hair done. Jen will often get her hair done if we go to one of our kids graduations or if we go to a wedding or if we go to something special. Jen will go to her friends to get her hair done. So, a little curlier. I don't get my hair done. I I usually just get a haircut. (laughs) That's it. Hey, let's uh switch to members only chat mode. Let me get that set up for a second. While I'm doing that, if I could remind everyone who's watching that the lesson is not over and in about 10 minutes, I will get back to talking about hair. I did realize there's two things I forgot to mention in the lesson. One is something called a cowlick. That's when all of your hair goes one direction but there's like a little piece of hair that goes a different direction and the other one is bald. I forgot to put the word bald on there. Bald is when you have no hair. Anyways, let's do some members question. Uh let's see here. Um Paolo says, um in Spanish, we have the word velo to describe the hair that grows in areas like armpits or arms. Is there a word like that in English? I think we just say body hair. Um we're very specific though when we talk about like men sometimes have chest hair. Sometimes people have back hair and they have arm hair. That I don't think there's a general term other than body hair would be how we would describe it. Yaroslaw, is it common? This is from the chat. Is it common to visit a barber shop in your part of Canada? Have you ever visited one? Yes. Before Jen cut my hair, I would regularly go to the barber. I would go to a barber shop and have a barber cut my hair. Um by the way, I usually start members only chat by saying thanks to my members. Thank you so much to all of you who are members. You are awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. And it looks like Sihun just became a member. So, thanks for joining. Um am I reading that right? Yes, Sihun. Giovanni from the chat. Hey, Bob. If I just want to buzz off my hair on its sides and back, how would we say the length we want? In Portuguese, we ask for the haircut by the number of the trim. Is it the same in English? Yes. I don't know the numbers. I know that I use a quarter inch setting which I think is a number two or a number three. But when you use clippers like I do, every attachment has a number. So, people might go in and say, just buzz it off, use a number four. So, yes, exactly the same. Key Park, hi, Bob. You are lucky having a full head of nice hair at your age. Yes, my mom's father had a full head of hair um his whole life and I hope that I have the same genes. Like, I hope genetically I have the same genes. Although, I think I mentioned this in another lesson. I don't know what this is. Is it to me? It looks like I might be going bald a little bit. We'll see. You'll all get to watch over the next five years whether I start to go bald. Uh from the chat, Musa says, Bob's buzz cut fits him perfectly. Bob looks so classic. This is the classic Bob look. After years of trying different things, this is what I settled on. A little bit of facial hair, mustache and beard and short hair up top. Uh, Adi. By the way, thanks Musa for the compliment. Adi. Hello, teacher Bob. Today, no question. Just say hi. I would like to know how you feel now. I hope you're great now. Yes, I feel a lot better. It was weird. There's something going around around here. Like, I wasn't the only one who was sick. Um when people get the same illness, we say something's going around. So, I was definitely not the only one. Zeev. Hi, teacher Bob. How are you? I have a goatee and I keep it trimmed and organized. 
I used to have a goatee a long time ago. Um, I didn't actually have good facial hair. It didn't grow in very well. So, I just had a goatee and I used to keep it nice and trimmed as well. So, very cool, Zeve. Freddie Wolf, Bob, I often see some very young children, mostly boys with their haircuts done like soccer stars or other well-known people. Do you notice the same phenomenon around you in Canada? Yes. Definitely, especially younger boys will often have their hair cut in a very similar way to a sports figure like an athlete that they like um or even you know a music uh, like a singer or something like that. Yes. In fact, they'll go in to uh a barber shop or they'll go to get their haircut and say, I'd like my haircut the same as Sean Mendez or I'd like my haircut the same as you know a famous basketball player. Um from Cecilia, hey Bob, thanks so much for this awesome lesson. Ten years ago, I had to undergo chemo. When the doctor told me I was going to lose my hair, I decided to shave my head and wear a super cool wig. That is a very common thing. I'm glad to hear, I'm assuming everything went well. Um that is a very, very challenging and difficult treatment and yes, it was probably a good idea, wasn't it? If your hair was gonna fall out from the treatment, you might as well just shave it. Well, I'm glad that you are well now, Cecilia. Uh Brent from Speak English with this guy. I now have the strange ability to grow hair all over my body except the top of my head. So, men in particular, maybe women as well but uh Brent's talking about the fact that um well, I'll talk about me, Brent. I have one eyelash that grows faster than my other eyelashes. So, I have to trim it, just one. And then on my my eyebrows, I have two or three hairs that grow really fast. And then there's hair on my back now for some reason. This is getting too personal but I agree with Brent. Um sometimes your body grows hair everywhere except where it's supposed to. Lolly Lolly says, in French, we have salt and pepper hair. Can we say that in English? Yes, I think that was a style to have you know blonde highlights with black hair and call it salt and pepper. I'm not an expert though on the names of all the different hairstyles. Um from Noriko, did you get Sometimes I say Noriko and sometimes Noriko. I'm not sure which is correct. I'll say Nori. No, maybe I shouldn't. Did you get a little bit suntan around your mouth when you shaved your mustache and beard? I'm just wondering that because my friend can't shave his beard worrying about suntan. Have a sip, please. I'll have a sip. So, what I have to be careful about is when I cut my hair and then Jen trims the hair on my neck, I have to make sure I put suntan lotion on for a couple of days because where the hair was removed, my skin is very white and it will burn. I'll get a sunburn really easily. So, I would assume the same would happen if I took this off. Uh Zeev says, isn't a hipster someone with a long beard? Yeah, a hipster can describe a lot of different types of people though. They don't necessarily have to have facial hair. It's more of how they live and what they do and a little bit how they look. So, thrift clothes from the thrift store, maybe a little bit longer hair. Their hair might be a bit unkempt. I'm not sure if you know that word but that's when you don't take care of your hair. Toshi, you ha- are suitable to have a beard, mustache and goatee. Yes, I think it works. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um let's see here. Cecilia says, yes, thanks so much, Bob. No problem, Cecilia. Freddie Wolf, I noticed that since Lucy, we have lost a lot of our hairs, haven't we? Knows that since Lucy, we have lost a lot of our hairs, haven't we? Possibly. Yeah. Are you talking about the video I did with Lucy? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that one, Freddie. Um sometimes I have longer hair. Sometimes I have shorter hair. Naomi, I'm surprised to see my white hair got so long. Yes. When your hair starts to turn color, it's an interesting experience because it um it grows and then it's like I don't know. I was surprised when I started going gray here because uh I thought when I started going gray, I would start losing hair but my hair actually grows faster now. Giovanni, Bob, do you think that when a dad went bald, it's 100% sure that his son is going bald? My dad is bald so I just wanna get used to the idea. I don't know but what I heard is that you will most likely have the same hair as your mom's father. So, we would describe that as your grandfather on your mom's side. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how genetics work but that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping I have the same hair as uh as my grandfather on my mom's side because he had lots of hair uh his whole life. 
Okay, I'm gonna flip members only chat off. Give me one second here. As I do that, I do wanna say thank you once again to all of my members. You guys are awesome. I know it's just a little bit every month for you but it makes me feel valued. It helps me to pay for the expenses I have to run this channel and it helps me do things like I don't put ads in the middle of my videos, okay? So, that's one of the things I'm committed to. When I release a long video, there are no ads in the middle. So, if teachers wanna use it in the classroom, they don't have to worry that there's gonna be some advertisement in the middle. So, that's one of the things. Oh, Freddie Wolf. Lucy is the first woman human ever found in the prehistoric time. Yes, I see. <laughs> now, I see which Lucy you're talking about. Yes, humans definitely have a lot less hair than uh, uh, people like Lucy. That's for sure. If you go back millions of years, um, there was definitely a lot more hair. Um, let me do a couple questions from the chat or from the form and then we'll get back to the lesson. Um, Apple the Frog is here. It says, hi, Bob. How's your day? My question is, when was your recent haircut? Thanks for your answer and have a nice day. I think I had my haircut Monday. It might have been Saturday but it was recent. It was just a few days ago. Um, let's see here. Renata says, we want the lesson. Yes, we, <laughs> we will get back to it in a moment. Let me do one more question and we'll get back to it. Um, Mohammed says, hi, Bob. I used to describe people who have lots of hair on their faces. Example, who has a hairy face. Yeah, how do you describe someone who has a lot of hair? We would say they're hairy but it's not, it's not necessarily a nice way to describe someone. You might say it when they're not around like, wow, he's a really hairy guy. Like, he has a lot of facial hair. Um, that would be maybe how we would describe it. Hey, let's get back to the lesson. Let me check where I'm at. Here we go. Let me have a sip of water first. Brent says, we have the same idea in the US. The son has to look at his mom's dad to know his hair's future. It could be a myth though. Yeah, it might be a myth. So, I'm I'm going with it. Uh, Pedro says, Hi, Bob. I have a lot of questions about how to mention hair colors. For example, I don't know what color yours is. We would say that, oh, someone mentioned salt and pepper earlier and I mentioned that that's when you get your hair dyed white and black but you can also say an older person has salt and pepper. Like a little bit of dark but a little bit of white. Um, hair colors are generally blonde, brunette, um, black. Um, is that all of them? <laughs> I don't have slides for this. So, um, maybe I should do another lesson on hair in the future but those would be the three most common I believe. Um, oh, and red hair, right? People have red hair. Hair dryer. Sometimes you wash your hair. You have a shower or a bath and you wash your hair and then you'll use a hair dryer to dry your hair before you go out. I don't use a hair dryer because my hair dries very quickly but if you were going somewhere important and you didn't want your hair to be wet, you might use a hair dryer to dry your hair before you leave. Sometimes you will shave. Now, here is a picture of a man shaving his face. People sometimes also shave their legs or they might shave their armpits. It depends on what you like to do in order to feel good about yourself. So, in North America, some women shave their legs. Some women shave their armpits. Um, men don't generally shave their legs or armpits although I heard that professional swimmers shave off most of their body hair. I'm not, I'm saying things again. I'm not an expert but uh, sometimes you have hair and you want to remove it. You do that by shaving. So, I shave right here and I shave down here but I don't shave right here. When I shave, I use a razor. So, a razor is a small um thing that you use in order to shave. So, when a razor, uh, when you look at a razor, it has sharp blades and you put some shaving cream on and then you use a razor to shave. Some men will just use a shaver, an electric shaver. You might call it an electric razor as well but an electric shaver, you would turn on and it would go bzzz, and you would just use that to shave the hair off of your face. Um, I tend to just use a razor because I don't have a lot to shave. So, I just do that and I use a clipper on my beard. Again, when you wash your hair, you use shampoo. Some people just use soap but the vast majority of the world when they wash their hair will use shampoo. It's a special kind of liquid soap 
that you use for your hair and you put it in your hair and then you rinse your hair when you are done. So, you get your hair wet. You put shampoo in your hair and you kind of scrub your hair or you um what would you say? You wash your hair. That's what I would say. And then you rinse your hair when you're done. Some people like their hair to feel very soft and luxurious after they wash it. So, they might use what's called conditioner. So, they wash their hair with shampoo and then immediately they'll put conditioner in their hair. Conditioner makes your hair have more moisture and feel more silky. I don't use conditioner because I have really short hair. There's no point but uh when you put conditioner in your hair, it can make your hair just look nicer. You might use mousse if you want your hair to stay a certain way. Sometimes, the hair that I have right here sticks up when it gets long and I might just put a little bit of mousse in to make it flat like the other side. So, mousse is like a foam but it eventually will hold the hair in a certain place. I don't use a lot of mousse. Um you might use hair gel as well. Sometimes, men want to um style their hair in a certain way and they'll use something called hair gel in order to make the hair stay that way. Um I think two of my sons use a little bit of hair gel in their hair to make it um look a certain way. They like to have a certain look so they use a little bit of hair gel uh, to accomplish it. Now, I'm not sure how many people use hairspray. It used to be very common in the 80s. I know my sisters used a lot of hairspray in the 80s. Hairspray is something you spray in your hair. Once your hair looks the way you want it to look, if you spray hairspray, it will hold it that way. So, hairspray is something that I'm not super familiar with but it is something you use after you style your hair. If you're going out and you don't want your hair to move, you want it to stay the way it is, you might put hairspray in. Sometimes people with long hair will instead of a bun or a ponytail, they might just use a hair clip. So, they might have a big clip and there's many, many different styles and they'll use that to hold their hair in place and sometimes people will use bobby pins. I always laugh because my name's Bob and I don't know why they're called bobby pins but these are little pins you can use. If you put your hair up like this lady's hair, she probably has some bobby pins holding her hair in place and then she's probably using hairspray to make sure it stays that way. But bobby pins are little metal pins that you put in your hair just to hold it certain ways. And sometimes, I don't know why I picked a picture of a dog. Sometimes people don't have hair for medical reasons. Sometimes people don't like their hair. Sometimes people just want to look different for an evening and they might then wear a wig. So, a wig is of course either made from actual hair or it might be made from fake hair but it's something that you wear in order to look like you have a different hairstyle. Sometimes people wear wigs like on Halloween. If you're dressing up, you might wear a wig as well to look like someone else but uh, as mentioned in the chat earlier, sometimes even for medical reasons, people will wear a wig. If you're going through chemo, uh, if you're going through a treatment where your hair is going to fall out, you might decide to just wear a wig for a few months while you're going through that treatment. So, again, a wig is I guess fake hair that you put on And then men sometimes go bald. So, this gentleman here in the bottom corner, he is going bald. So, he has decided to wear a toupee. I have to be honest. I don't know if we use this word anymore and I don't know if very many men wear toupees in North America anymore. I have a feeling it's not as popular as it was in the 70s and maybe in the 80s but a toupee is like a partial wig for a man who's going bald. Um so, this man decided he did not like being bald. He is going to wear a toupee and make it look like he has lots and lots of hair. Hey, that's the end of the formal part of the lesson. I'm going to answer questions for a bit. Um I do wanna say hi to the 582 people watching. Honestly, I'm a bit shocked. Normally, we have about 400, maybe 500 people and I didn't think hair was going to be a popular topic but welcome. 
It's good to see all of you here. Um, if you're new here, you should click that subscribe button. Uh, new lesson coming out Tuesday. And uh, by the way, there's a live lesson tomorrow by, uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. Uh, but let me get to the questions. Let me finish off the questions. I have nine to go. Uh, Miracle says, hello, teacher. It's quite cold in winter with short hair, isn't it? How do you deal with it? Get well soon. I usually wear a toque or what we call a winter hat. So, when you have really short hair, it's easier to wear a winter hat because the hat doesn't mess up your hair. I really like that. Um, (laughs) the man in the pic is looking really good in the toupee. It looks natural. Yeah, it did look quite natural. I wonder if it was false advertising. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Alex says, have you used a dry shampoo? I've never tried that. No, I have not. Um and I do see Pedro in the chat say, dear Bob, are you sure you want to do the live lesson tomorrow? Maybe you should rest a little more. No, I think I'm fine. I think I'm gonna do it. I think it'll be an enjoyable lesson for me and you and I do tend to speak a little slower and quieter when I'm outside. So, uh, I think it will work. Uh let's see here. Carlos says, I am bald. So, we gotta switch that O to an A. Bold means that you're brave and courageous. Bald means that you have no hair. I am bald. What can I do to have my hair back? Just kidding. You know, there's a lot of things you can buy that promise um they'll help you grow hair back and I don't think any of them actually work. Um let's see here. Musa says, I once tried my mom's shampoo and well, things didn't go don't go as expected. My hair feels like it's freezing. Yes, different shampoos can have a different effect on you. Uh let's see here. From Yi, I view your channel already six months over but not live stream. I'm glad to watch your channel. Well, thanks for watching my videos for six months and thanks for being here uh and watching this live stream. Super fun. Super fun. Uh Siyun says, how should I study to improve my speaking skill? It's about the top. It's not Sorry, it's about the topic. Sorry, by the way. So, yeah, it's a bit off topic but the best way I think to improve speaking skills, read out loud, sing out loud, hire someone to have an English conversation with every week. Those are the things I would say. Uh let's see. So, Harry says, how do you call a spot on the head that has a shape like a galaxy? A galaxy is like in space. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean, don't you? Have a good day. Thanks. I don't know but uh sometimes bald men will have a shiny spot on their head. So, they'll have a spot that's really shiny because they have no hair. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Could be. I'm not I'm not sure though. Um let's see here. So, Rubens as Keo Dalo reminded in the chat, some people here in Brazil say that people who have long beards have a lumberjack style. Does this expression exist in Canada? Not really but you might say someone looks like a lumberjack if yes, I could see that. If they had like a big beard and a mustache and were carrying an ax, you might say they look like a lumberjack but it's not a common expression in Canada. Um a lot of men in Canada have mustaches and beards right now though, I notice. Um and then here we go. I think this is the last one. What is the very curly hair? We just describe curly hair as curly hair. You know, oh, he has really curly hair or um oh, your kids are so cute. They all have curly hair um or she had straight hair so she got a perm and now she has curly hair. That's how we would describe it. Hey folks, that's the end of the lesson. I'm happy that uh, we did a lesson on hair and that it was super popular. Remember a couple of things. One, This lesson will come out in a couple of days. It will be shorter. It'll be about 25 minutes long instead of an hour and it will have word for word English subtitles. So, if you wanna watch the lesson again with no viewer questions. So, I take the questions out and make just a a pure lesson about hair uh with English subtitles. Watch that again or just watch parts of it that you didn't understand. Uh and then number two, I am going to do a live lesson tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for about an hour. Um my throat feels great. My voice feels great. Um if for some reason it didn't, maybe we'll do half an hour but tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
I'll be outside. It's supposed to be beautiful weather. Join me for a live question and answer lesson. Uh you can ans- ask me questions about anything you want and I will try to explain it. Anyways, I'm gonna say bye to a few people and wrap this up. First of all, bye to the 572 people watching. Uh if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And then bye to all my members. Bye to people like Eugene and Cecilia and Giovanni and Audie and Key Park. Uh did I say Eugene already? I think that was the first person I said. And Audie and Brent from Speak English with this guy. Patana, Yarosla, Lolly Lolly, Noriko, uh Toshi, uh Harry 300. Let me scroll back a bit more. And then bye to everyone else. All the regulars. Lemon Cute, Ario, uh Apple the Frog. I see a lot of people in the chat. Uh, who are just regulars here. So, thank you for hanging out. Bye to Cecilia. Bye to Archie and John and Yuko and Cesar and everyone. Can't say bye to the whole world without just summing it up by saying bye everyone. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. I hope to see some of you tomorrow at the live lesson and uh I hope that uh yeah, you just have a restful, relaxing weekend uh and a good week uh when Monday rolls